Do you remember this video from years ago? In 2015, Miami judge Mindy Glazer and defendant Arthur Booth made headlines. It was a fateful day that reunited two middle school classmates. Glazer had recognized Booth from their time together in middle school. She remembered him as a promising young kid who was great at math and science and had big goals of becoming a neurosurgeon. But this time, Glazer is the judge and Booth is the one that is facing charges. How has this encounter turned Arthur Booth's life around and how is he now? Watch more to find out. Arthur Booth was born to Hilda in 1967 in Miami, Florida, the United States. He grew up alongside his two younger siblings. He attended Nautilus Middle School after achieving outstanding grades at William J. Bryant Elementary School. In 1980 he joined Miami Beach High School. Arthur's dream of becoming a neurosurgeon was cut short when he dropped out of school in 11th grade. At the time, he was already struggling with gambling and drug addictions. Booth fell into drug addiction and gambling at a young age leading him into a life of petty crime, resulting in multiple stays in prison. He first got arrested at the age of 18 for grand theft and was later released. In 1988, at 22, he was jailed for 20 years and released after 10 years. After his release, he unsuccessfully tried to get a job before returning to gambling and drugs. He was again arrested for burglary and sent back to serve the remaining 10 years in jail. He ran away from prison in 1997 when they were taken out to help clean trash from the roads around Miami. Arthur Booth and Judge Glazer were former classmates at Nautilus Middle School. Judge Mindy recognized him when he appeared in the courtroom for burglary and theft charges. She spoke fondly about him, and Booth couldn't hold back his tears. The famous judge remembered him as a promising young kid who was good at mathematics and science. Mindy voiced her disapproval of Booth's behavior. This was the nicest kid in middle school. He was the best kid in middle school. He was the best student, and I admired him. Now I look at him, and I don't understand how that could have happened, Glazer told the courtroom that day. Several others struck by the judge's sympathy and concern for Booth's well-being echoed her call for him to change his ways. Booth was sentenced to one year for burglary and fleeing from police. Judge Mindy set his bail term at $43,000. During his court hearing, Booth expressed remorse for his actions and acknowledged the harm he had caused. He apologized to the victims of the burglaries and his family and community. He also wanted to turn his life around and become a better person. Ten months later, Booth was released from prison for good behavior. He had spent the last several months reading and learning about business, and he wasn't about to give up his shot at turning his life around. He also couldn't wait to thank Glazer for her motivating words. She's an inspiration and a motivation to me right now. Mindy is incredible, Booth later told CBS News. Cause I know where I could have been, but I'm not giving up on life. It's just a new lease on life for me right now. When Booth left prison that day, he promised himself and Glazer he wouldn't be back. He was ready to make better decisions for himself and to honor the little boy Glazer so fondly remembered. His family and the judge stood by waiting to greet him as he walked out of jail after serving 10 months, CBS Miami reported. Video of the heartwarming moment shows Booth smiling from ear to ear as he first hugged his family members, and then moved on to give Glazer a huge hug. Take care of your family. Try to get a job. Stay clean, Glazer told Booth. You're going to do something good for somebody else. You better believe it. You better believe it, Booth replied. He shared that his old classmate is a huge inspiration to him. She's an inspiration and a motivation to me right now. Mindy is incredible, Booth told CBS Miami. Cause I know where I could have been, but I'm not giving up on life. It's just a new lease on life for me right now. He had a good judge who wanted to give him a chance, Glazer stated. This is a group effort to see you succeed. Don't let us down. It wasn't easy, but Booth started all over again. 
He got help and treatment for his addictions and has stayed away from gambling. Arthur is now a successful manager of a pharmaceutical company in Florida. Booth's case highlights the importance of addressing the underlying factors that contribute to criminal behavior and having sympathy for those caught up in crime. His illegal activity resulted from his underlying issues and the desperation that caused him to break into homes to steal cash and other valuables. Booth turned his life around because of the support he received from the community and Judge Mindy. No matter what kind of change you may be contemplating in life, Booth is an inspiration to us all. Sure, he needed to hear it from someone who believed in him, but at the end of the day, he took responsibility for his own life and turned it around for the better. And if he can do it, so can we. Let us know what you think about this inspiring story down in the comment section. Thank you for watching. Please let us know if there's anything in particular you're interested in watching. If you like our videos, please subscribe and share it with your friends. Also, if you want more, just click on these videos.